Maria. Gee, but I'm glad to see a pal house tricks. What's new? Love thy neighbor. A great deal easier, life will be breezier if you love thy neighbor. Is it safe to come in? Yeah, it is gone out. Oh, good. Where's he gone? Oh, just down to the Lion Lamb for a quiet drink with his mates. Oh, dear. I don't think he's going to have such a quiet drink. Why not? Bill's gone down to the Lion and Lamb for a quiet drink with his mates. There's no need to worry, Barbie. It has accepted the fact there are black people in the community and is learning to live with it. Hey! I say, Dumbo. You speaking to me, Snowflake? <laughs> yes, I am. What's, uh, what's all this tribe doing here, then? Friends of mine from the Caribbean club. I've invited them down for a drink. Oh, I. Well, you can just invite them out again, can't you? <laughs> Look, this is a public house, and we are members of the public. This is our local. Been our local for generations. I mean, we were supping pints in this pub when you lot were still swinging through the trees. <laughs> Look, pale face. We have just as much right in here as you have, you know. Oh, no, you haven't. We don't want a tribe of nignogs interfering with our nights out. <laughs> oh, no, 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 don't worry, honky. We are not going to interfere with you. We're only here for the beer. <laughs> Now look here, my little chock eyes. <laughs> you lot are not wanted in this pub. Well, we are here, and there's nothing you can do about it. That's just where you're wrong. <laughs> That's just where you're wrong. There's not room in this pub for blacks and whites. One of us will have to go. No, that's okay by me. Heads or tails? Just a minute, just a minute. We're not deciding an important issue like this by the toss of a coin. All right, well, how do we decide? In a proper civilised manner in keeping with our British traditions. We'll have a punch-up. Oh, oh. <laughs> the winners to have exclusive sole rights to use this pub. Agreed? Agreed. <laughs> Where and when? Tomorrow, outside, 12 noon. Blacks versus whites. No. <laughs> Barbie, do you? I do indeed. Hello. Sit down, please. Thank you. If you come to see Eddie, I'm afraid he's out. Well, actually, we've come to enlist your help. My taking over the parish seems to have sparked up a race riot. Now, can't you get your husbands to calm down? Oh, I'm sorry, Vicar. We've done our best, but it's no use. I'm afraid come 12 o'clock, there's going to be one almighty punch-up. It's not just the physical violence that worries me. There are far deeper issues involved. Only this morning, my colleague had vandals in his vestry. Oh, that sounds nasty. <laughs> Your husband has desecrated the house of the Lord. Oh, what did he do? Daubed the 11th commandment on the back of the vestry door. The 11th commandment? Thou shalt not have nignogs in St. Joseph's. <laughs> Eddie. Well, it certainly wasn't Moses. <laughs> Typical honky aggro. I'm afraid the black members of the congregation are in no position to cast the first stone. At this very moment, the statue of our patron saint above the door has a notice hanging round his neck proclaiming black is best. Oh, well, that's not so bad. Well, it is when you consider the fact that his face has been given a coat of black gloss. <laughs> <laughs> Typical black aggro. Oh, poor St. Joseph looks more like, well, Sammy Davis Jr. <laughs> now, as your husband seemed to be the ringleaders, can't you get them to call off this fight and to settle their arguments peaceably? Oh, it's no good, Vicar. We have tried. Very well. I speak to them myself. Is your husband in? Oh, no. Bill and his merry men are getting fighting fit at Jerry's gym. <clears throat> what a pity. Why? That's where Eddie's gone with his merry men. <laughs> Hey, come on, Clyde, you could do better than that. Hmm? Come on. <coughs> <coughs> what about that? 
Oh, well, you're below your knees. I guess that's an improvement. <laughs> hey, hey, what do you think you're doing? Freewheeling. Oh, come on, get the bad thing, man. Get the bad thing. Okay. Uh, how many pounds have you got on there, Bill? Uh, 28. Don't strain yourself. <laughs> 28 pounds is nothing, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, what are you not doing here? <coughs> oh, we blacks are just having a workout before giving you whites the knockout. Oh, hi. We see who gets a knockout at 12 o'clock, son. Right, come on, lads. Chuck, chuck, let's have you. Get everyone, lads. <laughs> Look who's just come in. The white tornadoes! Take my notice, lads. Never mind, lads. Just concentrate on getting fit. Arthur, would you like to make a start punching the old back? Sorry, Eddie, I left the wife at home. <laughs> no, no, never mind the corny joke, son. Just get on with it. Jacko, give me hand with the weights, kid. Right. Oh, no, no, no. I wouldn't bother about lifting the weights, Eddie. See if you could lift the bar first. All oh, right. Look here, son. I can lift as much as you can, you know. Oh, yes? Hey, you see this bar here? 56 pounds here, you know. Yeah, I thought you said there was only 28 pounds. <laughs> 28 pounds on each end. <laughs> of course there is. I am understanding. <laughs> 56 pounds, Eddie. Look at this. <clears throat> right. Right, lads. Put... 56 pounds on that bar. Hey, you sure were. Hey, Eddie, be careful. Don't go and fracture your fetlock. <laughs> <laughs> Sambo can do it. I can do it. Right, go right, on. Right, lads. Right, stand back, so we've got this. You're supposed to get it off the floor, Snowflake. Now, you belt up your chopper, drop it. <laughs> I think I'm knackered my neck. Oh, <laughs> it's 11 o'clock, Eddie. I can see what time it is, thank you very much. Only an hour to go till 12. I know how long there is to go. 60 minutes, that's all. Belt up, will you? Hey, Alf, is that clock right? That all depends on what date line you're using. Is it 11 o'clock Greenwich Mean Time? No, it's 11 o'clock British Landlord's Time. <laughs> oh, hi, what does that mean? Ten minutes fast. <laughs> That's better. That's 70 minutes to go. Oh, anybody think you've got the wind up, Jacko? Yeah, I'll give over, Arthur. I mean, Jacko's not frightened of a little puncher by your son. No, I'm not frightened. There you are. I'm terrified. <laughs> Jacko, there's no need to be afraid. Anybody should be frightened. It's that lot. Good help. Good help. <laughs> no, no, what's all that? Like? Hey, come on. <laughs> yeah! Psychological warfare, you know. <laughs> Ten minutes of this, a few early shuffles, then white monkeys will be demoralized. So will I. <laughs> He said he wanted to see me. Sit down. It's about this stupid fight. Why don't you call it off? It's not up to me. Eddie started it. 
And if he wants to stop it, he'll just have to, to swallow his pride and treat people as though they were human beings. Don't be ridiculous. I'm his wife. You don't even treat me like that. <laughs> Jonah, I, I am sorry. Come 12 o'clock, there's going to be one almighty punch up, and there's absolutely nothing anybody can do about it. <laughs> What's the matter, Eddie? Oh, no, don't tell me you've started without me. No, no. Just a little accident. <laughs> What's she done to your arm? Nothing, love. Just a fracture. <laughs> you mean you've broken it? <coughs> Only in one place. <laughs> How'd you do that? Fell down the steps in the pub. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I better tell the fellas it's off, huh? Eh? Off? What do you mean, off? Look, I can't fight you like that, you know. Listen, son, I can lick you with both arms in a sling and my leg in plaster. No, 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 Eddie. I don't want people to accuse me of taking an unfair advantage. Thank God he's gone. Why? Well, I'll take my arm at the sling now. <laughs> Certainly what doesn't half ache, you know. I think I've hurt the circulation of that tick somehow. I thought you'd broken that arm. <laughs> I should go, go. It's my drinking arm, is this, love? <laughs> Eddie Booth, you old fraud. It's only me. Look at it, son. Hey. Eddie, you're not been thinking that it's... Madison. How's your arm? Oh. Very painful, very painful. <laughs> oh, love, I hope it'll soon be better. Oh, I'm sure it will be, Barbie. You see, it's what they call a, a movable fracture. <laughs> a movable fracture? Oh, yes. A minute ago it was in his right arm, now it's in his left. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Well, you see, actually, I broke both arms, but only had one sling. <laughs> you mean you're scared? What do you mean, scared, son? Too short to you. Get out of my house. Go on. All right, all right, you two. Max, it's just time you stopped fighting and started talking. Right on. Now, Bill, Joan and I are going into the kitchen for five minutes. If you haven't reached an agreement by then, I'm going home to live with my mother. And I'm going to do something much worse, Eddie Booth. I'm going to bring my mother home to live with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just pretended to break my arm. I thought it might... Delay the fighting, you see. Yeah. And give us time to talk, huh? Yes, yes, quite. Sit down, son, sit down. You see, violence never solves anything. Yeah. The pen is mightier than the sword. True, very true. You know, I don't know about you, but I'm not all that keen on punch-ups. Mm. Neither am I. And I've already got two black eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Very witty, I like that. Hey, listen, Billy, you know, I'm just thinking. I'm sure we could come to some agreement about this pub. Yeah, yeah, of course we can. I mean, it wouldn't have been fair to force you out of your own local. Huh? No, man. <laughs> You'd have had to leave after you'd lost the fight. What do you mean, lost the fight? Oh, come on, let's face it, Eddie. You whites might think you have the brains, but we blacks certainly have the brawn. <laughs> Knickers! <laughs> you not saying bells, are you, what? Cobblers! <laughs> You couldn't knock the skin off a mango. We too sort you jungle bunnies out any day. <laughs> yes, how about today? Right. It's on again? Yes, definitely. Outside, 12 o'clock. We'll be waiting. Get out, you great black fairy. <laughs> now, love, I don't want you to worry if I get a few scratches. <laughs> I couldn't care less if you get battered to a pole. <laughs> Pardon? I've said all I'm going to say on the subject. If you two want to beat each other senseless, that's your affair. Yeah, shall annihilate him. <coughs> <laughs> Keep on like that, you'll be knackered before you start. <laughs> I'm just toning my muscles up, that's all right. I didn't know you had any. <laughs> that's right, go on, boost my confidence. You're my wife, you're supposed to encourage me. You can be stupid enough without any encouraging from me. <laughs> A man must do what a man must do. Thank you, John Wayne. <laughs> I can look after myself, you know. Yes. Oh, and don't worry, Eddie, I've got plenty of bandages. <laughs> Listen, it won't be me who needs the first aid. It'll be old King Cole next door. <laughs> that is, if he ever bothers to turn up. Why shouldn't he? Three reasons, love. One, he knows his wife's a superior. Two, he's all mouth and mangoes. And three, he knows we've got big Jim Holton on our side. <laughs> Never heard of him. Well, he's a boiler maker in the factory, love. One of the toughest men I've ever met. Makes Henry Cooper look like a puff. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I've seen Big Jim, 
Knock a six-inch nail through a plank with his bare fist. Do! Oh, aye. Oh, yes, indeed. Frighten of nobody is big, Jim. Save your strength, I'll go. <laughs> Probably him next door. Wanting to call it off. Oh, yes. Yes? Oh, I see. Yes, all right, I'll tell him. Well, was it Sambo? No, Big Jim Alton, the man who's frightened of nobody. Oh, I what did he want? He can't come, his wife won't let him. <laughs> <laughs> what a pity. Still, he's only fulfilling his marriage vows, love. Love, honour and obey, he promised. Obviously, his wife's put the block on. <laughs> Obviously. Yes. And who am I? If Big Jim chooses to respect his wife's wishes, who am I to say different? I mean, I'd do the same in this position. Really? <laughs> yes, love. If you were to say to me, Eddie, don't go. Well, I wouldn't go. That is to say, if you were to say to me, don't go. I'm not going to. <laughs> I know that, love. But if you were to say don't go, I'd have to respect your wishes and not go. If you didn't want me to, go, that is. <laughs> don't you want to go? Of course I want to go. A man must do what a man must do. <laughs> I wish you'd hurry up and do it. <laughs> right. I'm going. All right, Edda. I'm not doing anything against your wishes, am I, love? No, Edda. Right, so. I'll go. All right, Eddie. Just so long as you don't want to change my mind. No, Eddie. Right. I'll go. Right, then. A man must do... Oh. <laughs> I'll go. Eddie. Oh. Yes, Rob? You'll let me know what hospital they take you to. <laughs> has the first move. Look, we're having a fight, not playing bloody drafts. One moment. Just go to here, Lads, lads, if the vicar's come to join us. Go on, you can have that, please. I'm going to tell you, you're wasting your time. What do you mean? You lot can knock seven bells out of each other, but I serve anyone in my pub, black, white or khaki. I suggest we all adjourn to the tavern and try and resolve our differences over a drink. Good idea, Mr. Thomas. 
What do you say, Mr. Renner? All right, all right. I'm always ready to talk. So am I. So am I. Good, then that's it. No, it isn't. Before we go anywhere with anybody, there's one very important question that has to be answered. And what is that? Who is getting the beer? How much longer do you think they're going to be? They can be as long as they like while they're paying for the beer. What are we having? I'll have a half. Not for me. <laughs> I am already, how you say, uh, Brahms and Beethoven. <laughs> List. Brahms and List, you turban twit. <laughs> Whatever it is, I am not feeling very well. <laughs> Very, very well. Hi, lads. Come on. Bit of us. Bit of us. Come on. Sup up, son. <clears throat> now, lads, you will be very pleased to hear that after a lot of hard bargaining, we've come to an amicable agreement. Yeah, yeah. Great. yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. And we would like to read you our joint communique. Oh, no, no, no. After you, Brother Eddie. Thank you, Brother Bill. <laughs> Point one. Lines of demarcation. The saloon bar has been divided into white and black areas. Hooray! Hooray! Ah, peace. The black area is left of an imaginary line drawn between the dartboard and the one-armed bandit. The toilets, both ladies and gents, are free areas and may be used by either parties. Oh, does that mean we can use the ladies? <laughs> <laughs> Only if you had the operation, Jack. <laughs> come on, lads, come on. Belt up, please. This thing is on the floor. After you, Brother Bill. Thank you, Brother Eddie. Friday night is integration night. Yay! <laughs> Both colours will be allowed to move freely without let or indolence. Hooray! In addition... Are you listening, Arthur? Yes, I'm listening. Yes, go on. In addition, we whites pledge not to call our black brothers Sambo, Nignog, King Kong, or to make any derogatory reference to them having descended from the monkeys. Yeah. Hooray! Peace, 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 peace. And in return, we blacks pledge not to call our white brothers Snowflake, Honkies, Pale face, or to cast aspersions on the validity of their parents' wedding. Right. <laughs> Any questions? Point carry. Right, I'll sign first. After you, Billy. Mm. Come on, lads. All at the bar. Brother Billy's buying a drink. Hey! <laughs> well, thank goodness they've settled things peacefully. <clears throat> Let's hope they continue to do so. Uh, I'm sure they will if you speak to Reynolds. <clears throat> Why should I speak to Reynolds? Well, he does seem to be the principal troublemaker. No, just a minute. Surely that description belongs to Mr. Booth. How can you say that? There was no racialism in this parish before Reynolds moved in. That has nothing to do with it. Eddie Booth is definitely the spanner in the works. And Reynolds is the nigger in the wood pile. <laughs> hey, Marbecca, get that on your son. Oh, thank you. One for you, Rabbi. Thank you. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Say, mousy tongue. <laughs> what the hell do you think you're doing in here? We come in here for the link. Oh, yes, we have a link on the other side of the bar. <laughs> no, 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 Eddie, no, 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 man. They should be on your side. They're not white, are they? <laughs> They're not black either. <laughs> now, look here, Sambo. Under the agreement, you're not supposed to call me Sambo. Now, nick us to the agreement. I'm not having that. And to honkies. Cobblers to honkies. <laughs> Crazy, crazy, crazy. 